since I'm getting time here, my name is Alejandro. I was a developer, and then I went to testing, and then I went back to development. So I know this shit, so you better pay attention. And if you found this ring. Yes, and if you found my wedding ring, I'll appreciate it. Does QA have a place in DevOps? Heck yeah, and I'm going to tell you why there is a place reserved for QA in DevOps. So first and foremost, you've seen pictures. All of the other speakers have shown you pictures of Dev and Ops. Well, everybody here is it's the agilization of operations, it's continuous deployment. Well, guess what? The left side, Dev, is Dev and BA and QA. So there you have it. There is QA. It has its place. But that's just nomenclature. If we look at Dev minus Ops, Developers code and build and deploy to lower environments, whereas test just writes tests and executes those tests and logs bugs, whereas ops does the deployments and then they are responsible for those deployments. But dev plus ops, that's where everybody, dev, BA, QA, and ops, continuously code, build, deploy, test, and they promote to production, verify, and maintain production. We own it all together. That's all very nice. However, the client who is the boss wants services, not software and hardware. They want us to build value and provide what somebody calls the warranty, if you ever heard about ITIL. ITIL calls service warranty, those things we promise them that those services are gonna provide, such as functionality, security, continuity. If something breaks, can I recover fast? Is it reliable? Can I scale it? All of those things that we usually do at the end, it should be done all the time. And QA has the right mindset. So four strategies to do QA, well, let the SMEs do it and put them aside, or ask for guidance, or planning assistance, or hey, let them in, get involved and have them learn some tools, or if you are in QA, well, learn the freaking tools, right? So what happens to testing as we know it? Well, automation is a must, manual testing, bust except for exploratory testing, if you disagree. But other than that, if you don't know how to code, find a new job. What happens to bugs? Well, guess what? Now we have not only the development and lower environment bugs, we also have production incidents to deal with. So the best way to juggle with all of this is to take that description of severity is impact, so how bad is it, and how soon we need it, so we can put it in user stories. So back again, the metrics that we have to pay attention to are those that matter the most to our customers. And everything in customer satisfaction is how many incidents we have in production, how many defects we let escape, and how fast are we putting things out. Checklist, are you ready for DevOps? For QA and DevOps? Well, first of all, QA is gonna be everywhere. You're like, oh crap. So build and deploy jobs are gonna have tests. You're gonna have to piggyback to continuous integration workflows and test configuration. So if you were hiding configuration scripts, guess what? These guys are gonna get it. Is QA ready? Are they already automating? Can they handle all the environments and also deal with those hidden scripts that are being used to deploy and build? Do you have the right infrastructure to support QA in DevOps? You can easily, easily replicate environments you can count that they are standardized, and also that you can deploy testable configurations. So don't leave them hanging out dead in the water. Well, how do we get started? Let's look at what you have today in automation coverage. Let's do more. Let's make sure we have cleanup tasks for deployments so that we can have those testable environments. And then let's be smart about how do we strategize what tests to run for the builds. Testers must understand all operating environments from service all the way down to the workstation and focus again on those service warranty tests and be smart about generating data for each one of the environments and along the process of continuous integration and continuous deployment. Along the theme of continuous process improvement, shorter cycle times equals continuous deployment. This is the only way to get it. We have to be lean, no red tape, testable environments, continuous feedback loops. Suggest or High suggestion is to leverage specification by example, the given when then, in the then, that's where the whole DevOps team comes with the guidance of QA to write tests that go all throughout your operation. Some quotes of people I talk to from Facebook, Microsoft, Monsanto, Boeing, etc., all point out to a solid test infrastructure, automation, and the guy at the last is kind of wishy-washy. I won't tell you where he, where he came from, but he wants all to be localizable build changes. Case studies to read that are worthy your time is Etsy and also Netflix with their no ops clause. I think those are kind of interesting. Target from what we heard this morning is also interesting. And that's all I have for you. Thank you so much.